Good morning guys. Um, I know it's been, I think March is the last video I did. I've been super busy here um, with this plasma table. Things have really started to kind of take off for me on uh, Etsy. And um, I've just been really busy keeping up with everything. So I just kind of wanted to catch you guys up, let you know that the plasma table is running really awesome. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the torch height control right now. Um, still trying to get that tuned in. But I think it's because I don't have an air dryer. Um, so I think my voltage just really isn't sitting stable here. So I pretty much just wanted to show you guys what a new, you know, typical day in the shop is for me now. Um, that this thing is up and running. I'm no longer building the table. I'm actually running and building a business now. So the, uh, the goals are a little bit different. Most of my days now are spent um, doing custom orders on Etsy, designing and bidding out a bunch of jobs online through Instagram, email, Etsy Messenger, Facebook Messenger, text messaging, um, now getting into some Pinterest a little bit. Anyways, typical day, I get in here, I grab the mail from the day before and see what we got. Uh, this is some body filler, like a Bondo. Um, comes two stage with the hardener and everything. I haven't tried this stuff yet. It's called all metal. And the idea is that you can powder coat over the top of it because it has metal flakes inside of it that I guess will charge electrically and hang onto the powder and not melt in the ovens when they're curing it. So uh, I gotta give that a shot with this project over here, which I've got this uh, really high-end carpenter designer named Caleb Woodard here in town that uh, basically I just cold called him. I walked into his shop and uh, introduced myself, gave him a card and started talking to him and that turned into a bunch of business actually over the last few months. So all these pieces uh, I worked up in CAD and then cut them out on the plasma table and uh, they all tab and slot fit together, you know, jigs itself up basically was the idea. So hopefully this stuff works, we'll see. Um, either way that stuff has to get powder coated and I'd rather not fill it all the way up, all those seams up with weld and buff them all down, that would take a long time. This stuff should sand a little faster and go on a little faster. Let's see, another project I got going on right now, uh, this brass tube here actually goes cable base, doing it for the same customer. And basically this just gets cut to three inch and becomes a trim piece right about here. And he's got a wood base that goes over the top of this. This is the structural support underneath. All the mail today uh, was for that customer so I can finish up the very last pieces of uh, his job and get paid. Um, the other stuff we're doing is mostly all signs. You know, this is fresh out of the machine. See a lot of slag back there still. Um, you know, it's, some of it's pretty big slag, it just comes off of the finger here. Not too tough to get off, but this is really no torch height control running at all. Um, this is just uh, the touch off sequence, finding the sheet, and then uh, cutting as best it can. So that's something we got to work out, because like here you can get the slag down, like almost eliminated on these, so I'd really like to get there. So the next thing I do every morning is whatever new items I have from the day before that are buffed down and ready to ship out, before I ship them out, I go and I take pictures of them around my property. I've got two spots, one on a gray trailer that uh, looks cool with the gray metal on the gray wood, and the other spot is in the front of my house on the brick wall, basically. Just the high contrast between the dark steel and the bright red brick makes the pictures look pretty cool. And I'm just taking them all with my cell phone, it's nothing fancy, um, it's just cell phone pictures that I edit a little bit just to tighten them up and get them online. So it doesn't really take a whole lot of money to get good product photos that are gonna sell your stuff online. You just have to spend a little bit of time, you know, finding a good spot to take a picture in natural light that is in the shade. So shaded natural light, awesome. So like go under an awning outside, under a tree outside, wait for a cloudy day outside, all the above, gonna give you really good pictures. Stephanie already beat me to the punch. She's already over here taking pictures for us. So this is all we do, we just line them up in the front of our house and we get a couple pictures up here against the brick like this. And basically we try and get a straight on shot like this and now she's getting the angle shot from down low right here. And we have this little white paint on our brick wall so we always have to make sure it's covered up 
in all the pictures. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of her way because it looks like she's kind of in the middle of it. <laughs> so you'll send me those when you're done? Yeah, I'll send you these. All right, thanks. All right, guys, I think I'm almost done here. So this is gonna be the next sheet. Got this all programmed up in here. Let's see, see that a little bit better? There we go. All right, so um, basically once I have this programmed, um, I check everything and make sure, you know, these are each of my pierces going in one, two, three, four, I'll do the perimeter right here, and um, check all these for any errors, make sure it's not jumping across the signs in any crazy way, make sure these all have plasma information yep looking good okay so there's our sheet right there now we just need to run the post on it we will save this August 8th sheet 1 and go put this on the flash drive and then we'll go ahead and take it over to the table real quick. All right. Out with the old and with the new. Come up here. Find that sucker. And let's see if it works. Yeah, it looks like the same thing we had over in the cam program. I'm using sheet cam. This is a command CNC, which is a Linux based system from C and CNC, believe it or not. So it looks good. Got everything in here. Uh, let's go turn everything else on. Got the plasma on already. And so I'm going to get this machine running and uh, take off for powder and hope it's still running when I come back. Let's see. I think we're ready to go. Run. Resume. And you'll notice I have the uh, the THC in manual right here because it's just it's not quite working as it should yet. Fire it up. All right, guys, we got that running. Um, I gotta go to the powder coat and uh, pick up some signs, so let's hope that thing's still going when I come back. All right guys, here's the powder shop right here. Pretty cool, check all these out. Looks like a Boss Haas right here, with big block in it. Awesome, awesome work, they built all these uh, swing arms and fat tire kits right here in-house in Tennessee. Chrome, carbon fiber, powder coat. What's up, Daniel? Good morning, sir. How are you? You don't mind being on camera? Absolutely not. What's going on? Not much. Just picking up this powder coat. Red's looking pretty hot. Here's the black stuff down here. Looking pretty good. These guys stay busy. All right, this is my goal in life right here, is to have like 10 of these CNC mills at my disposal. But these guys are doing it for real right here. CNC machining, all their own wheels in-house. All right, we take a peek here. Shop, huh? The 
show you some more stuff. Check this sucker out, dude. Look at this fat tire kit on the back. Huge! Custom bagger. These guys totally got it going on. That's why I love coming down here. One of these days, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna leave here with a Hayabusa, I think, uh, if I keep coming down here. So, let's get this powder wrapped, this powder wrapped up, and back out to the car. All right, pulling back into the house. See how the uh, plasma table's running here. Oop, I think I hear the air compressor still running. Yee -yee. Go check it out. Let's go get this powder coat inside. All right. So now you guys can see where all the magic happens. Our house is now turned into a part factory here. Hey. I got powder coat. What's up? last package here. Oh, good thing, just in time, huh? Yep. With more to do? More to do. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab, I'll go grab the rest of it. See ya. Alright, now we've got our mother table. about as much grinding as I can stand for one day. Um, almost got that whole sheet knocked out, but I've got a bunch of messages that are building up. Uh, I get all the notifications on my phone, so um, I think I've got 20 unanswered messages right now on Etsy, uh, three emails, uh, two text messages that I need to design for, and uh, something for my aunt that I need to uh, button up and get done for a family member. So. Uh, basically, the rest of my day is spent on the computer right here, um, burning through Etsy messages and uh, designing stuff, and that's a typical day. So, um, I just want to let you guys all know that the table works. It's been working. Um, I had a few issues. CNCNC support has been um, pretty top notch. I actually drove down there at one point because the machine was down and I had a bunch of orders um, that were due and past due and uh, with the machine broken down it was going to put me like a week and a half late on stuff so instead of waiting for uh, shipping or paying 500 bucks to overnight parts back and forth um, I'm in Nashville and it was about a 10 hour drive down to their shop in Texas so I just packed up pretty much all the electronics from the machine uh, put them in a box and drove them down to Texas and they actually rebuilt my whole computer and replaced all of my components free of charge um, they gave me two of their techs for four hours. So I burned up eight man hours 
um, and no telling how many parts and circuit boards and cables and connectors and uh, they didn't charge me a dime so I've been waiting really for a while to review the command CNC and the precision plasma parts because I didn't want to tell you guys how well it was working until I'd actually been working with it so um, you know the results are in I do not have the torch height control working correctly um, and I think it has to do with I still don't have an air dryer on my plasma so I get a lot of water through the line and that makes the voltage really irregular so until I have enough money to put a uh, air dryer into my system um, I won't really know for sure if that's it but that's really my my suspicion so I don't really think it's uh, CNCNC software I really think it's something on my end where I just I don't have all the pieces uh, of the puzzle together and just too much water in my in my line so Hopefully, I've got my uh, my hot my no, I got my Truggy, my rock crawler up for sale. So once that sells, I'll have enough money to buy an air dryer and uh, hopefully get this THC running like it should. Go check out my Etsy shop. I'll have it down below in the description. You can check out all the stuff that I've been making. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pretty much day to day. That's where I'm at every day, guys. If you want to keep track of the shop and see what's going on, um, I keep the stories full of the stuff we're cutting uh, and I update pretty much all my new items end up on there in, in one way or another. Um, but I appreciate all your guys' help, all the support. Um, I really abandoned this YouTube thing for a little bit and uh, I saw the subscribers just kept going up, the views keep going up, um, and obviously I'm getting some traffic to my shop from here. So um, it's starting to work out, it's starting to pay off, it's been a lot of work, a lot of hours editing video and whatnot, um, but I'm starting to see the traffic um, to my website and whatnot from it. Um, so I think it's worth it. So I'm jumping back on here and making another video so I can keep you guys posted, um, everybody that's curious.